What's good, people? Uncle Hotel back at it again. I actually was starting the video, and I realized it wasn't recording. Happy hump day to me. Um, as always, Hotel's been told you every Thursday at 8, which would be tomorrow. Go check that out. Go check out the last episode. Stream it. Listen to a podcast form. Leave reviews and whatnot. You know, in this fourth quarter attempted comeback by the Trump administration, full court press and the legal systems about voting and balloting and variants and things of that nature. And uh, Wayne County, Michigan. You know, they, they wanted to recount the votes. They wanted to, hey, man, we can't, th th these votes ain't no good. One Ned Stabler, I guess he's an official out there. Oh, 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 he has something to say. Let's hear it. Um, we also know that the Secretary of State and the Attorney General have already uh, tweeted out that your legal arguments are rubbish and you're going to lose in, when it comes to court. So we're not worried about that. Uh, at all. I'm also not worried about any of your, oh, things are, are bad so we can't certify arguments because that's just ridiculous. You certified in August when they were worse. Less than 50% of the ballots were recountable. Now over 72% are. 58% uh, of them were even balanced when it was less than 30% last time. So it's doubled. It's gotten way better because the Secretary of State actually jumped in and did her job, unlike you. But I know it's not going to change your opinion. Um, you talked about not certifying Detroit, even though you acknowledge that Livonia, a city, by the way, I know you know is 95% white, had bigger variances than Detroit, which is 80% black. We understand. Race card has been pulled. <laughs> The race card has been pulled. I think. Well, I know. That they just use that to gloss over things. How can you say one county, both counties had variances? Like the, the, the correct thing to do is say, hey, let's look at both of them. Right? Not pull up the demographics of each county. Oh, you didn't do a, a variance of this county because they're white. You want to do a variance of, account of, of Detroit because they're black. Well, why aren't you, Mr. Ned Stabler? Why aren't you doing a variance of that county that he said is 95% uh, uh, white? And, and you've now added your name. So I, I'm not going to try to change your mind. I just want to let you know that the Trump stick, the stain of racism that you, William Hartman and Monica Palmer, have just been, covered yourself in is going to follow you throughout history. Your they intend to make you being a Trump supporter a populist. anti one world no more nation person a scarlet letter he names these people my name and say the trump stain will follow you through history he said he don't want to uh he doesn't want to change your mind he doesn't he doesn't he wants to have you, well, I'll, I'll let him finish. It's, it gets even worse. Your grandchildren are going to think of you like Bull Connor or George Wallace. Monica Palmer and William Hartman will forever be known in Southeastern Michigan as two racists who did something so unprecedented that they disenfranchised hundreds of thousands of black voters in the city of Detroit don't care about black people when the votes count they only care about black people when their votes count hold on i gotta i gotta i gotta tweet this hold on i'm gonna tweet this right now i gotta tweet this
Bear with me. I'm going to put Democrats on there too. Democrats only care about black people when their votes count. Because they were ordered to. Probably, I know, Monica, you think Q told you to do it or some other crazy stuff like that. But just know when you try to... I hate that Q has been used like this, man. As you know, I never really got into that um, Q thing. I suspected it's someone with uh, inside knowledge. But what they were attempting to do, you know, uh, in their purpose, I just couldn't buy. Like they suicided whistleblowers for less you know what I'm saying and a lot of the stuff you know is was uh, if you follow the right uh, alternative media you probably knew already but this is what they're doing you know what that's why I sometimes I think that was used so they can demonize it demonize people you know it's the new uh, conspiracy theory sleep tonight that millions of people around the world now on Twitter know the name Monica Palmer and William Hartman. See how many times he says these people's names? Monica Par- pa- <laughs> Monica pa- Parler. William Hartman. Literally encouraging people, because you know this video is going to get out. Literally encouraging people to uh, dox them, you know, do all the crazy stuff on media. Psychos on media, on social media, do. As two people completely racist and without an understanding of what integrity means or a shred of human decency. You, the law isn't on your side. History won't be on your side. Your conscience will not be on your side. And Lord knows when you go to meet your maker, your soul is going to be very, very warm. Literally saying... You're going to burn in hell. (laughs) Jesus. This is insane, man. This is insane. And we got more. We got more. We got more. Same meeting. Same meeting. I don't know who this shot is. And what that tells us is you, Miss Monica Palmer from Gross Point Woods, which has a history of racism are deciding to enable and continue to perpetuate the racist history of this country. And I want you to think about what that means for your kids who probably go to Gross Point North and when they see all their black classmates and they know and what that tells us is you, Miss Monica. Naming her kids out, naming the school they probably go to, literally instigate what the black kids want to do. Literally, you know, trying to sick the black kids on on, on on Monica's kids. I can't, I can't even wrap my head around how dirty and low down some of these people are over politics. It it's it's disgusting. And I I just hate that, you know, I'm an African-American. I'm an Akata to shine. You know what I mean? That's my birthright. You know what I mean? That's my blood. That's my bloodline. And I hate how it's used like this. For fodder between political parties. Racist. Racist, 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 racist. I didn't like, I've heard racist and racism so much in the last few years when I, I don't I don't experience it like my first 20 years on earth this is insanity <laughs> these people don't even know what racism is to be honest 
They're just using it for political gain. And we're being used for political gain. It's one thing if I could see, you know, black Americans was getting something out of this, but we're not. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm out of here. Check us out tomorrow. Hotel's been told you. 8 o'clock Thursday night. Uh, donate Patreon, PayPal as well uh, if you can. And uh, please subscribe and hit that notification button. Peace.